this is the first official podcast by SE Tier. Basically, what we're going to be trying to do is look at some upcoming uh, majors in the future. Uh, as of right now, we're looking at Apex. Um, it's going to be taking place January 11th to the 13th in New, New Brunswick, New Jersey. Or is it New Brunswick? Brunswick. Anyway. Okay, New Brunswick. New, New Brunswick, New Jersey. So, to uh, jump into it, we have the Jimbinator. He's um, going to be president at Apex, and I kind of wanted to get people to know him since, personally, he's one of my favorite up-and-comers. So, Jimbo. Yes. Let's jump right into it. And could you tell us, like, um, more about how you came into into a way run the the scene and and like things like that like a uh, past tournament experiences and all that stuff well um ever since soul blade i've always been a fan of the series and it wasn't until four and online that I actually started getting involved with the series and like wanted to learn more but it wasn't until after mlg raleigh that i actually became an active member of a way run because Five was the first game I decided to take somewhat seriously. And then when I thought I was decent at the game, I was looking around, looking at, like, times I can go, okay, where can I go and play this game and make a scene for myself? And I found out, oh, Raleigh, it's only three hours away, so I'll go to that. So I go to Raleigh, and I fell in love with it, and here I am. Okay, cool. Yeah, I remember you, um, I remember meeting you at Raleigh, actually. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Because if people don't know, actually, I'll let you tell it. So what? What? What did became you like? What made your name kind of known after Raleigh? I mean, I know what it is, but just for other people who don't know, I'm kind of surprised if no one knows at this point. Um. Well, I sent some losers, and I fought my losers for a little bit, and, and eventually I had to fake up on it. And, well, the little random MTO scrub, I ended up winning 3-0. And then, all of a sudden, my name blew up as that one guy who beat Keanu. Nice, dude. Yeah, she's actually pretty good. Um, I was surprised, honestly, that you, uh, that you beat her. Because I didn't know who you were, so. Yeah. But I did get to play you in tournament. And we'll just talk about that another time, though. <laughs> right. Um, let's see. Uh, anything else about... Eight way run, like um a favorite players there, like or any close friends on eight way run that you made uh since Rally? Um, uh, I'd like to say, even though he wasn't even there, I'd say I have a pretty good friendship with Partisan at this point. Um with Rock doesn't count, dude, everyone's friends with Partisan. Well, you know. <laughs> well with Rally, I didn't really like, I made the mistake of not really involving myself that much. I didn't talk to that many people. So, that was oh, one okay. of the mistakes I made. But, like, with NEC, I really involved myself more and kind of made a little space for myself in the community. But, uh, I'll get there. I don't think I've really made, like, a best friend in the community yet. But, yeah, time will tell. And uh, you brought up NEC. That was your second... Uh, offline event for for Soul Calibur, correct? Yes. <clears throat> and uh, just to recap, how was that for you? Well, I got in my place again. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, a lot of people did. <laughs> but it's okay. Um, how was uh, how was NEC as like aside the the placings and all that? How was the tournament environment? Uh, that was, it was a blast for me. It really solidified my love for the game. It really made me love the community as a whole. Yeah. Um, I think it's cool that you decided to keep coming out, and I think it's awesome that you're going to Apex. It's Apex, right? It's not like Apex or something like I'm that. I'm assuming it's Apex, yeah. Okay. Um, but, yeah, I think it'd be really cool if more people took, um, like, have the, the determination you do to get better at this game and compete it offline because that's kind of where the heart of this game actually is. Yeah. Offline play. I mean, if you're looking at it on a competitive level, then it is. Um, okay, let's see. 
Okay, so let's move on to like uh, Apex, the tournament itself. Okay. <clears throat> what is your overall feel for Apex? Uh, how do you think it's going to be? And uh, pretty much, I want to gauge your hype level for Apex. Um, personally, I'm very excited for it because again, it's another chance to play offline and you know talk with the great players again. But being this is the third time I'm going into a major, I feel a bit more confident in myself that I know how things are going to be run. I know what to expect. I know who to expect. And honestly, I feel pretty confident in how I will place because as far as I know, there are not going to be that many killers there. I mean, there will be killers, but it's not going to be as stacked as Raleigh or NEC. So that might work in my favor also. Well, yeah, it's good to go to those, too. I mean, I hear Ramon's going to be there. He will. Your, your best friend, I Rock the Maxi, will be there, and he's going to be confident. Um, but, yeah, man, I forgot where I was on this. All right, good stuff. <laughs> Is there anyone specifically that you're worried for? Ramon, obviously. That's the key one. <laughs> like, I mean, that goes without saying, but other than Ramon, honestly... I'll be honest here, my biggest fear for Apex is me losing to IROC the Maxi, because it can't, <laughs> that's honestly, like, in the top of my head at all times, considering this event. Because so technically, now, because we've actually faced each other in a tournament setting, I'm up, like, one fight on him. The last thing I want to see is this new rivalry between us four, because, ah, I'll be honest, yeah, I just don't want to lose to him. That's the clear cut of it. I just really don't want to lose to him. I think it's cool that you guys have that that kind of rivalry thing. Actually, yeah. it kind of brings a little bit of hype. So, can you say that you and I rock the maxi for yourself would be a match to watch out for as yes. far as hype levels go? Like honestly, <laughs> yes. I, if we fight again, we'll probably have another good showing. And honestly, I think he's another name to look out for for this event. I think he's going to go far if he keeps the up the pace he's going with. Like. Like me, he's on. He's really determined and driven to be one of the best in the game. So, look out for him too. Um, have Have you ever heard of any other like people that we might know or the community might have heard of besides Ramon and uh, and you and IRM? Uh, uh Fermador will be there. The two be traveling. Oh, no. right. So that's another name to keep an eye out for. Um, as far as like, I think JJJ and JJJ will be there in Sporco. As for Woes, I'm not sure. Um, I I heard he wasn't, but oh. I always hear that. I don't know, dude. I don't know what's up with that guy. He, he's he got, like, personal or real-life things going on, so. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't blame him. Yeah. Um, so I already asked about your your grudge match with IRM. Are, do you guys have a money match, or do you have any money matches that you are going to be in or that you know is going to be taking place at Apex? I actually do have a money match with IRM, the first to five. <laughs> so hopefully that can be, I don't know, recorded or streamed, maybe. We'll see. Yeah, I think that's that's kind of cool, though. Like, you both are, are new players to the scene. Yeah. And you're both already just jumping right into it and kind of, like, you don't really see a lot of planned out grudge matches anymore. I mean... You kind of see them when you go to a tournament and you start calling out names to see who who's going to play who. But yeah. as far as, like, hype and tension level goes on the forums, you don't really see that. So I think it's kind of cool that you guys have already involved yourself in that. And that's kind of, like, the glory of offline, too. Is even though you guys are probably really good friends, you guys talk shit to each other, correct? Yeah, all the time. Yeah, see? Yeah, I think that's awesome. Um, How much is that um, money match going to be for? Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. That's not bad. Custom. You know. That's weak shit, dude. Do a hundred bucks. I don't have that kind of money, man. Not... <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, that actually reminds me. What is the the uh, pop prize or the, the the winnings for um Apex? Do we know? Uh, pop bonus is two hundred fifty. Oh, see, that's that's worth going to. Yeah, it's respectable. I mean, if I live kind of near there, I would definitely be there. Mm -hmm. What um, would you do with? Okay, so you win. Uh, that'd probably go into the final round fund, honestly. That's what I would Which is also another hype tournament. Yeah, like, looking at future tournament prospects, um, 
real life stuff probably will not will like block me from going to Winter Brawl. But as far as me going to final round, that's probably like a ninety percent chance. So winning at two fifty will probably bump it to a hundred percent. Um, that's good that you mentioned real life stuff because a lot of people think that like we as as competitive players just don't think about like what we're doing in our life or that we're we're kids or something or it's a child's thing, but it really isn't. I mean, yeah, you go for the community and you do spend a lot of money, especially if you're not. Uh, consistently winning, and even if you're winning, the money is is not. It doesn't really break out even unless you're talking like MLG or something, you know. Yeah. So it takes a lot of it takes a lot of money to go to these things, and kind of uh, kind of hard or kind of respectable in a way. It's like to look at that too. Um, how do you feel about traveling in general? Like uh, the, I guess like seeing the people in the community at these tournaments. I love it. Um, even though I've only traveled just, you know, only to North Carolina and to Philadelphia respectively, I love it. I mean, I love traveling and going to new places. I want to experience as much as I can get, especially seeing as I'm only 19 years old. Oh, wow. I feel old now. I used to be, like, <laughs> the youngest dude here. Now I'm older than, like, everyone. Well, IRM's only 18, so... Yeah, that's what I heard. I I think I started uh, probably around seventeen, my first offline event, seventeen or eighteen. But yeah, I think it's awesome. Yeah. Um, I I kind of want to ask how you feel about um, like uh, online players who uh, online players might be interested in in coming to these events. Like, would you? Uh, what would you suggest to them? Like. As a newcomer myself, what would I say? Yeah. New people? Yeah. Well, don't do what I did in my first event and be shy. Like, <clears throat> despite it seeming like a new world and intimidating, it really isn't. When you go to these events, everyone comes with open arms and wants you to help you get better and have a good time. So just involve yourself and enjoy the fun, really. I mean, it's worth it. I don't care what anyone says. This stuff is 100% worth it. Yeah, I agree. Um, let me see. More <laughs> about Apex. Um, do you have any like predictions on outcomes on, on the on the results? Depends. I mean, I know you're probably gonna say you're gonna get first, which is I mean, like, <laughs> but no, I would I would say I mean it's just that confidence boost, you know what I mean? But <laughs> other than that, who do you? Well, we kind of already went into that as who you who are looking for at these tournaments, and so far I only got like four names. That's including you. Is there anyone else? I'm not good at predicting that yet. I feel. I mean, obviously you're gonna look out for the names we're already familiar with, but as for where they will place, we'll just have to see what happens, really. Yeah. Uh, did we talk about who you use as a character, just in case no one knows who you use? Oh. Yeah. Well, how did how did we uh? Settle on Ezio. Well, ever since Soul Calibur 3, I made Nightmare. And so when 5 came out, I stuck with Nightmare 2. So I'm like, all right, yay, Nightmare. But then after about a month of playing, I just got extremely bored with the character. And I first got 5, Ezio was sort of my secondary. And so when Nightmare got boring, I'm like, you know, I'm going to sit down as, as much time as possible on this character. Because no one, when on Xbox anyway, plays this character efficiently, so I'm going to do that and see where this takes me. And I really just fell in love with the character and how he's played. It really, I feel it's how I play as a player. Yeah. I think that's actually pretty important, um, recognizing a character that that kind of fits the way you want to play. Mm-hmm. I mean, it doesn't have to be the best character in the game, but if you're making it work... And if it's working, it's clicking with you, then I think you can get some good uh, results from that. Exactly. Yeah. On that subject, uh, do you think he's a good character? I think he's a very solid character. He doesn't, It's aside from stuff like 2K, he doesn't really have an element of him that makes you go, what the hell is he doing? This is a shit. Like, can I say... I don't know about that, man. I, mean, I don't know what the hell he's doing ever. <laughs> Maybe I'm just, you know, talking down on my character because I play him like that, but he he's very solid. He has many tools and 
to help him in many situations. But he doesn't have that one thing that makes him, what the fuck is he doing? But yeah. other than that, I feel he's a very solid character and is completely viable at high-level play. Um, on on that subject, where would you, if you were to have a tier list, like, where would you place him uh, in, in the tier list? Somewhere in mid, maybe right in the middle. I feel oh, like he's extremely rounded, but maybe, you know, if I'm in a good mood, you know, mid-high. <laughs> if you're in a good mood. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I actually have no idea. I mean, I know a little bit about him, but as far as, like, anti goes, he's really not a character you see. Yeah. Um, I think you, I know someone from the West Coast played him. Like at one event, and then we we saw something unique playing, but he uses everyone, so he doesn't count. Uh-huh. Um, but I actually saw Shen Yuan using him, and he was doing pretty good. He was. But uh, it, it's kind of I think it's kind of cool that you're using a carry that that you don't really see, and you're doing well with him. I mean, you're you're turning heads, that's for sure. <laughs> um, um, more about that. How do you feel about the? the game in general and, like, its mechanics? Um, I like it. I really like the game. I mean, obviously, it has certain issues that need to be fixed that I'm not going to really go into detail over, but, I mean, I really like the game how it is. I honestly do. Like, except for a few cases, I think it's somewhat balanced, and even though it caters to offense, I just feel like it's a flexible game, and it's a good way. I think the series is going in our right direction. So this, uh, the patch didn't really bother you, did it? Well, not me as an Ezio player, because if anything, they fix with issues if they still has them. But I'll be honest, when a character like Yola gets buffed and a character like I gets nerfed, it makes me scratch my head. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand that stuff either. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, I, mean, I love the game, I love the series, but sometimes when the game gets patched, I just have to, I don't know, take a walk or something. Um, so are you comfortable with the patch now? I mean, we you kind of hinted about, like, uh, Viola and, and her getting buffed in some aspects, and then Zwei getting nerfed, but overall, are you comfortable, or do you like the patch? And would you, do you have any... Big, big complaints that you think we would need a new patch? Um, I mean, the obvious one everyone's going to just, you know, cater to and, like, point to immediately is going to be that one backstory infinite Viola has. But other than that, I feel like it just needs to be fine-tuned a little bit. Um, certain damage values need to be scaled down. A few needs to be scaled up. I mean... I'm not really an authority on this kind of thing, considering I've only been really involved and, like, actually analyzed this stuff for only a few months now. So I'm not going to really delve too far into that without sounding like a dilettante. Well, I think it's I think it's kind of... It's good that we're asking you, though, because, like I said, you're an up-and-comer, so it's good to get your kind of perspective on how this game should be played. Mm-hmm. Um, we're trying to help out, you know, other up-and-comers or want people who want to come up and and do well in tournaments or do well in general, um, and I think that uh, I think personally the patch is I kind of am in agreement with you. There's some things that should be fine tuned, but um, like I, I think that whipping issues with some characters need to be fixed. Yeah, like big time. But other than that, I don't really see anything too bad. Um, I know a lot of people were complaining about no step G, but uh, I kind of don't even notice it, really, because the way I look at it is if my step killer is actually doing its job in step killing, then it makes me feel great. I mean, I sucks getting hit by getting hit with a step killer, but it sucks getting hit in general, you know? Yeah. But um, I, I like the I like the patch, and I think that the game is actually fairly balanced to, to an extent. There's yeah. few things. Okay, um, so we pretty much covered Apex. Uh, who you are as a player, um, how you feel about the the community, and note that you are still new, so there's going to be, you know, 
I hope that you stick around for a while. Mm -hmm. You could end up having years of, for several good years of this. Um, for like a closing, uh, do you have any shout outs or actually first, do you have any people you want to call out like a, like for Apex? Uh, come on, don't be scared, dude. Just call them all out. Gotta go buy a man. Just, <laughs> you know, I'll be honest. I'm going to take your money. That's all there is to it. Yes, I love that. I love it. <laughs> you know, other than that, there's not really anyone there that I would have any remote grudge about. Maybe if people like Vile Death Wave and Neo Ramirez came to these events, I'd challenge them too. But <laughs> we know what happens with these people. They just talk, and then they talk some more, and then they never show up. Yeah, that's that's a normal thing, actually. I mean, some people can't afford to go sometimes, or it's just not their thing, though. So you can't really get mad at them for that, but there are other things that these quote-unquote people do, you know what I mean? Like, they say stuff, so I get what you're saying. Um, oh, go ahead. Oh, no, that's not disagreeing with you. So, okay, <laughs> yeah. Um, so you called IRM out. I want to actually see you guys play a first to five, uh, the money match. I want to see it recorded. So if you guys can try to get um, that recorded somehow, we'd like to uh, we to help show everyone. Just don't lose, man, because then you look like a big idiot if you do. <laughs> <laughs> Which is okay. That happens. That's the that's the glory of it, you know. Yeah. Um, okay, so you call them out. Is there any shout outs you want to make to anyone in the community? Uh, um, besides me? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm shout out to you guys at C tier, uh, for actually putting this stuff together and really, you know, involving the community more. Like, not really making sense of my words, but I really appreciate what you guys are doing. Yeah. Shout out to SC tier. Hell yeah, dude. Um, okay, so just to close it off, we're gonna promote Apex. It's uh a tournament, a major, on January 11th to the 13th of this month. Wait, I just said January 11th to the 13th of this month, huh? Yeah, that's okay. Of uh, this year, <laughs> I'll say that. <laughs> and it's it's New Brunswick, New Brunswick, right? New Brunswick, New Jersey. All right, New <laughs> New Brunswick, New Jersey. So like, like the stew. I've never heard of New Brunswick stew. No, just. <laughs> Brunswick. I'm just, I'm just fucking with you, dude. But <laughs> I've never actually heard of Brunswick too. I guess it's a Eastern thing. Yeah, you guys are weird. So. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, uh, <laughs> if you can make it out to it, awesome. Uh, if you want to try to get a hold of um, Jim Benader, he's on Eight Way Run. Do you have like a Twitter or anything that you want to plug in? Uh, nope. I'll probably make one soon though. You should. Oh, and. One more thing. How do you go about prepping for, for tournaments, for, for people who want to who, who try to go out? Well, what I personally do is I boot up my Xbox, I go online, <laughs> I play people like Partisan and Heaton, and I rage and throw my controller on the ground and then make stupid statuses about it. Dude, that's, that's exactly what I did for a, <laughs> a very long time, actually. I, I was, uh, used to get beat up by those two all, all the time, and then... Uh, he can kind of went to Freetin, if you get what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> That's really bad at this point. Um, what? What did you say, Heaton? <laughs> He's saying that I'm really bad at this game. Yeah, all right, man. You just go all crazy sometimes and try to do stupid shit. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, that, th those two are awesome, awesome players. Um, do you want to like plug in your your gamer tag or? They can find that on 8-Way Run. What do you want to do? And if they care enough, they can just go to my 8-Way One profile and find it there and send me a friend request. I mean, it's just the Jimbinator. I mean, not much of a stretch. Yeah. But also, um, going All back... Right, well, um, oh. Go ahead. Go ahead. Going back to the prep thing, more seriously, besides, like, actually fighting people online, I go into training mode and I try to grind out certain punishes certain reactions to certain strings, like, okay, I got a duck here, I got a step here, and then I'll have one or two matches with, like, the AI, 
where I can apply these punishes under an actual situation. So basically you're trying to, like, develop habits yeah. of what you just practice. I do the same thing, but I, I practice on, on people online. <laughs> <laughs> I personally can't sit on training mode, so. Oh, yeah, it's not for everyone sometimes. Yeah. Well, um, again, New Brunswick, New Jersey, January 11th to the 13th. Apex is a Soul Calibur. Uh, Soul Calibur will be there, a major. So if you can try to make it out, then do it. Um, thank you, Jimbo, for thank you for taking the interview, man. I really appreciate it. Um, I will be rooting for Ramon because that's my homie, like for life. But, <laughs> but I hope you get second place. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I don't know. Since third or is my homeboy. Oh, okay. I hope one of you two gets second place. And I am rooting for you versus IRM. Okay, so Thanks. don't just think about that. Think about like, oh, okay. Zeph wants me to win. Just keep thinking Zeph, Zeph, Zeph in my head. It works every time. Gotcha. All right. I'll keep that. <laughs> and yeah, so that's about it. Um, thank you again. One more and, and we'll okay. see you at Apex, man. One more thing. Um, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Because of a request. Um, no, I'm here. It's okay. I'll say it myself. Um, all right. Fine. Yeah, Apex <laughs> is going to be streamed, uh, <laughs> but it will run this weekend. You can find it at twitch.tv slash 8 run. It will also be on the 8 run website. And, <laughs> yeah, you can totally check it out there. It's going to be probably a pretty great event. So if you're interested in Soul Calibur, definitely check it out. And I'm going to go back to lurking. Thanks for watching this.